Hey guys, welcome to the 19th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at reading ASCII strings. And an ASCII string is just the text um, to the far right of any hex editor, like just this right here. And we're just going to have it read Adam. So we're going to go back into C Sharp, and you're just going to want to have a button and a text box on your form. And then double click on the button. And I'm going to start having some of the code already in here because you guys know all this code that I just had. It's just boring to watch me redo it all again. So we're just going to want to be using system.io and then have this code. And then we're going to want to make the, um, the position of the binary reader be the offset of where this starts. And that is 26. 0x26 and then we're going to want to create a new character array and you can name it anything you want, like I'm just going to call it character array and set that equal to br dot read chars and then the amount of chars we want it to read or characters we want it to read it says like int count and since Adam is only four characters long or you can just highlight it and it'll tell you the length right there. So we're just going to want to put four in these parentheses right here. And then we're going to create a new string. Or, yeah, set the, or now we're going to need to name the string. I'm just going to call it string1. And set that equal to a new string. And then inside the parentheses right here, we're going to put our character array. Okay, now what this will do is it will read... Um, the first character, which is A, and then it will put that in the array, and then it will read the second character, D, and also put that in an array. So, the array, character array, will look like this. It'll be like, um, oh, it'll be like A, D, A, M. And then, um, this code right here will turn this, right here, the character array, into a string. So it will make this be just Adam. So now we're going to want to make the text box be, um, this string, so we can actually see what it read. And then we're just going to want to go ahead and close our binary writer or binary reader. Okay, so now let's test it out here. I'm going to open that um, untitled file right there. And yeah, there you go, it says Adam. So if you have any questions about um, this tutorial, or you need help with the code or anything like that, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer your question. So, see you guys.